Hi everyone, my name is Micah and I am with Efficient Small Business. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create an employee database that uh, allows you to send emails and text messages to your employees. So we're just going to get going here. We're going to start by cleaning up our spreadsheet a little bit here. Uh, let's all the way to the bottom. Okay. All right. Now, first, seeing any good database needs, some fields. I just want to point out this is not technically a database for anybody who's not very familiar, but if you are very familiar with databases, you already know that. Technically, a database is, it might look similar, but it's different. <laughs> I'm not going to go into details right now. All right, so we're going to add some checkboxes because we're going to want to do different things here. Uh, we have our names, positions, so here, email. Awesome. Let's make this look good. All right, got that. Cool. Make it green. I like green. All right, now we need to do some data validation. So we have positions here. You could just manually type in something new for each thing. Um, so we need a settings page here. We're going to call this one database. That's actually going to be important later. Um, even though you can make it a little more fluid, I, I like to specify which sheets are doing what um, once we get into the scripting side of things. Okay. So uh, I've already done some of this. So for our cell carriers, here we go. Oh, and again, we have all of this dead space. And then we're gonna need positions in the company. Let's do owner, manager, staff. And this is kind of a boring color. Feel free to, you know, obviously do whatever you want. It's your spreadsheet. Um, there we go. Just because. All right. So we have a list of carriers now, and then the suffixes that are going to go. Uh, the email suffixes here that you're going to tag on to the end of a phone number. So technically, you're not actually texting them, but you're sending an email to their email carrier, which then directs it to their phone. Um, and their phone receives it as a text message. So it's all the same. So let's validate this information, create some drop down lists, and get that out of the way. Here we go. Cool, and if you want to, I'm just gonna leave a show warning. Uh, you could reject input if you want, but if you wanna add a new position, it's not extremely relevant. Just up to you. All right, let's test it. Looks good, cool. Our cell carriers, same thing. I don't know why I'm navigating away from the page already. Let's uh, validate this. This one, we do wanna reject the input. Great. And again, yep, reject input because this is very important that these names line up exactly with these emails, with these email suffixes. Okay. Uh, and you'll notice I've left this column here blank. That's because we're going to put a formula in here. Uh, we're going to use an array formula. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, it basically just means I don't have to put the same formula into each individual cell because we're going to add employees, we're going to take them away, and I don't want to make sure, uh, I don't have to use a script or anything to automatically fill that cell with a new formula. It's, it slows things down unnecessarily. So we're going to say uh, if, and we're going to check this, uh, and and if you're familiar with formulas, uh, you'll 
or if you're not familiar with array formulas, but familiar with formulas in general, you'll notice that I just used a multiplication there. Uh, when you're dealing with array formulas, uh, you need to, uh, the or and the and operators, uh, or and the and functions, I, rather, they don't work the same way here. So in order to say or or and, I'm using this, and this says, um, the and both of, both of these have to be true. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with formulas, this is also saying the len pulls the number of the uh, sorry it, it gets the returns the number of characters in a cell. So if I'm using the uh, name, for instance, there are four characters, and it's going to return the number four. If there's nothing there, it's going to return zero. Uh, when you're using an if statement, it looks for zero can return is false or any other number will return is true. So it's saying, hey, if there's something there, then let's move ahead. If there's not, then we need to do something else. So this is saying if both of these have something in them, both of these columns have something in them, let's keep going. Oh, that's what it says. Okay, great. So now we've done that. Now what we want it to do is we want it to get the value of this column here. And then we want to append the e uh, the email suffix there. So we're going to say, um, here's the value we're looking for. If value in this column matches a value over here. And when you're using VLOOKUP, it always looks at the far left column, no matter what. It just always looks in this far left column. So we know this far left column is exactly going to match with our uh, subcarrier column on the database page because we use data validation, so we know they are exactly the same. Okay, uh, now this number two says, okay, if these match, then pull the value in the second column. So if it says at and I want the value right here. False, great, it's a VLOOKUP thing there. Um, I encourage you to look into it. I'm not going to describe it right now. Uh, and VLOOKUP likes to throw errors if there's nothing there because we're dealing with arrays and all sorts of nonsense. Okay, cool. So there's the thing there. Um, and now we use a comma to close out our if statements. And if there is nothing there, you know, if, if this first statement doesn't return true, we have to do something else, which in this case, don't do anything. Just there. Okay, awesome. So now when we come here and have a name, data validation. Actually, I don't know why I did position there. That's, that's kind of silly. This needs to be D. All these C's need to be D's because we're looking at the phone number. I don't care about the position. Great. Okay, um, now we need a 10-digit phone number and a cell carrier. But here's the thing, if you accidentally put a phone number, let's say you want to do parentheses, uh, you're gonna mess this up and it is not going to send that text to the right number. In fact, it's gonna give you an error saying you can't do that. So what do we do? Um, we still, you know, we want this phone number to be readable in case we need to make a phone call, but we also need to be able to use it in our formula. Um, there's a couple ways to do it, but what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna mess with the formatting so we can put the number in as just a plain 10 digit number, and boom, there we go. It looks how we want it to. Awesome. Cool, and now we're going to give, give ourselves the ability we're gonna format this. We actually don't need to format the last column. Uh, we, for this uh, particular thing, we don't need, need to format the checkboxes. So we're gonna come here, there we go. And that's gonna allow us to filter, we use this. Um, if I had another name, you can come through here, clear it, and then you just pull the information for one. Um, or you could pull the information for multiple positions. So if we have a couple managers here, uh, staff, I could say, oh, I just want to look at 
the managers are clear. It's say, hey, let's just pull the manager information. Boom. It's all there. Easy enough. Hope that makes sense. Now we are going to insert some buttons. I'll show you how to do that real quick. All right, so we need a button that says new. Make it real small, just because I can. Small text, hard to read. Great. Uh, let's make it look a little nicer. This uh, you could just give it like one solid color. I like to get a little fancy with it. Um, I know for this tutorial it's taking longer, so it's probably not worth the extra time that you have to sit here and watch me do it. But now it looks better, mildly. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we're actually, before I get out of this, I'm going to copy this um, because you can't copy and paste it later. Great. So there we go. There's, we need to be able to make a new uh, row. Now we're going to need to, we're going to want the option to delete a row. All right, now we have our delete button. And moving on, we're just going to create four buttons here. Let's send an email. Sir, and we want to send a text. Great. There we go. And when we do that, we're going to need some boxes. So we're sending an email, it needs a subject. Uh, both need a message. So let's give them a box. Make it obvious. And we're going to hide this row because we don't need to see it. Great. I'll email that. And because we'll probably want to see our whole email message, uh, a little bit of formatting here. Cool. Um, now we have officially formatted this. And we will quickly move on.